Hello. Welcome to the first episode of Every Day is a Holiday. This is a show where I'm going to tell you what holiday is the day of the podcast. But, since it's the 1st of October, I will also let you know what is uh, the month of October. So, I had the whole month pulled up. Here we go. All right. For the whole month of October is Global Diversity Awareness Month. Italian American Heritage Month. National Bullying Prevention Month. AIDS Awareness Month. American Cheese Month. Blindness Awareness Month. Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Caffeine Addiction Recovery Month. Down Syndrome Awareness Month. Eat Better, Eat Together Month. Emotional Wellness Month. Fungal Disease Awareness Week. German American Heritage Month. Health Literacy Month. National Book Month. National Caramel Month. National Chili Month. National Chiropractic Month. National Critical Illness Awareness Month. National Dental Hygiene Month. National Depression Education Awareness Month. National Dessert Month. National Ergonomics Month. National Liver Awareness Month. National Pasta Month. National Physical Therapy Month. National Pickled Peppers Month. National Pizza Month. National Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. National Pretzel Month. National Protect Your Hearing Month. National Sausage Month. National Spinabifida Awareness Month. Polish American Heritage Month. Rhett Syndrome Awareness Month. And Vegetarian Month. Alright, that's just a quick rundown of the month. But we'll talk about today. What is today? October 1st. International Coffee Day. So go out and get your coffee. And if anybody asks why you're drinking coffee, say, hey, it's International Coffee Day. Why aren't you drinking it? But uh, whether it's uh, buying coffee for everybody at the office, having a coffee date just with you friends or an actual date. Or you can attend a coffee roasting class. Just get on the computer and learn about roasting coffee, whatever. But uh, coffee is good for you. Unless you put a lot of sugar in it. Research shows that coffee drinkers are less likely to have type 2 diabetes, Parkinson's disease, and dementia than non-coffee drinkers. They also have a uh, lower instance of certain cancers, heart rhythm problems, and stroke. So drink it. And it gives you a quick energy fix. So if you're tired, and <laughs> it's Monday, so you might want, you might need the coffee. But, uh, Muslims were banned from consuming alcohol, so for a while, they drank coffee. In, uh, 1675, out of paranoia that people were convening a coffee house to deploy against him, King Charles II banned cafes in England. But, you know, today is legal, so. All right, what else is today? National Black Dog Day. Get a black dog? Celebrate him. So, if you don't, adopt a black dog. But uh, I did work at a uh, animal shelter for a while. And black dogs are the kind that a lot of people really don't want. Me, I'm weird. I guess I like black dogs. I've always got black dogs. And some of them might have been all black, but, you know, they might have had brown or white or something. in it. But mainly they were black. So, I guess today, 
Celer I'm celebrating with my black dogs. I got two of them. So let our people know, hey, you know, today's Black Dog Day. Let's celebrate. But uh, many people pass over black dogs at the shelters, preferring to take home animals with lighter coats. That means black dogs are more likely to be put down. This is also because people have negative associated with black dogs regardless of breed. You know, because there's uh, superstitions, you know, especially about black cats. But we're talking about dogs here, so. But, you know, because dogs are human's best friends. And, uh. So, why not just have a black one? All right, what else? Uh, National Child Health Day. So, make sure your kids eat healthy. Um, try new activities with kids. Just mainly just spend time with your kid. And uh, because you spend time with them, they'll be happy. And if they're happy, then it can lead you to good health. And just be nice. And celebrate National Child Health Day. National Hair Day. Uh, some people have bad hair days. Some people have good hair days. Some people just cut their hair so short that they don't have to worry about it. But uh, try something new. Try a new hairstyle today. Grow it out or cut it off. Uh, if you ha if you have a special way of putting it that uh, it's kind of like a secret of how you do it. Share your secret. You might not want to just blast all over Facebook or whatever. Tell a friend, but you know, celebrate National Hair Day. Uh, take a little bit extra time fixing your hair up today. Hey, it's National Hair Day. Let your hair down. If you're always putting it up, let it down or vice versa. And if you don't have any hair, sorry, but just celebrate when you used to have hair. National Homemade Cookies Day. Yum, yum. Go make some cookies. Hey, make me some too. Make me a chocolate chip cookie. Peanut butter cookie is my favorite probably though. But, uh, make, make a type of cookie you've never made before if you never made chocolate chip cookies why don't you try it out today to say it's national homemade cookie day bake cookies for uh, the office or your friends or your your kids just try to make sure it's healthy day or try to make sure it's healthy because it's national child health day and yeah there are healthy cookies by the way World Vegetarian Day. Speaking of child health and homemade cookie day, I wonder if there's a vegetarian cookie that you give your kid. But uh, tell somebody about why you're vegetarian. Or just try not to eat meat today. Be a vegetarian today. Don't choose not to eat any types of meat. Um, a lot of restaurants have a meatless option now. So well, if you go out to eat, try that today. Go shop at a farmer's market. Or if you go to Walmart, just go down the vegetable aisle, just buy vegetables and just eat that today. There's alternative to meats, all sorts of meats, like soy and stuff like that. So you might want to try that for World Vegetarian Day. All right, so that is everything for today. Uh, good health for your kids and eat healthy. Um, go get a black dog and drink some coffee. I'll talk to y'all tomorrow. Goodbye.